Well, my phone is officially blowing up. Um, we told you guys that we were gonna try to get involved with the uh, relief efforts down in Southern California. Our goal is to go down there and A, shuttle food and supplies in the helicopter into the areas that need it. And more importantly, I think, we're going to have a ton of equipment on the ground to be able to transport the food and supplies to different locations. So this is big, this is huge. It's uh, it's pretty cool to be able to go down there with an actual like direct mission. Like we know where we're going, we know what we're doing, we know what needs to be done, and we're just gonna get in there and do it. kind of funny like on the last week's uh, episode I responded to comments and I saw a bunch of people commenting like you guys should go help people in California what you saying? And, and I'm like in a perfect world we would be able to help and then this morning rolls around and heavy D says <laughs> all hands on deck first thing that I knew we are going to California who's going Skeeter Alan you know the blog guys so I came with Alan and told yeah. him, hey you're going to mm -hmm. California it's okay we can keep going with the stuff you, you know with the shop stuff Two hours after that, he came to find me. Hey, we need as much people as we can go in there. So can you tell the mechanic that everyone is going? He's like, okay, we can start with them. This has gone from, we're taking a few people on recovery to we're taking the media team, we're taking the mechanics, every piece of equipment we have, and Alan, Andy <laughs> Rom, all hands on deck. Yeah, I actually, actually heard hunters coming. I don't know. Yes, hunters <laughs> coming yeah. too. So everyone's hey, coming, all hands on deck. We're gonna go help some people in California. So let's go. In order to get down to uh, where we're gonna be using uh, all of our equipment to help uh, uh, rescue people and get things from being stuck, we have a long ways to drive. And without getting special permits and everything, we have to make sure our loads are narrow enough. On our uh, piston bully snowcat, we had to take the tracks off take the side wings off and have it shipped uh, so it's uh, much narrower and will fit on uh, the trailers without sticking out. That's what we're doing now. Right now these are the wings for the piston bully. And we have one more coming up here. Oh, look who's bringing it in. Will this weasel up there too? Oh yeah. yeah. Keep coming, a little more. Right there. Man, Al, is that aluminum or what? You're throwing that around like a real madman. Except for that end, we got to do over here. You want to flip it? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is let you take that around and all this stuff. Like that. Back. What I mean is, is uh, like this, and then put that one keep going back. Oh, way. That will be able to work, work with that. Can't haul it down the freeway with the tracks on it either? Nope. No, the tracks are as wide as the wings. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have to reassemble everything when we get down there? Yeah, it's pretty quick. Okay. Well, you'll see that later. Reassembly. No, Putting the tracks it. on is a lot harder than taking them off. Guys, so as we're getting ready to head out to California, we've been getting tons of messages and emails from people wanting to help, like donate to this process. And I gotta tell you right now, we're not uh, taking cash donations at the moment just because it's not really how we do it. But I will tell you how you can support us. So basically, the giveaway that we're running right now is partnered with Bucked Up, and we've decided that for the last few days of the giveaway, all of you who wanna support the channel and support what we're doing, if you make a purchase, what would normally be one entry for every $5 you spend is gonna be 20 entries for every $5. So literally a 20 times multiplier on the entries. We're gonna take it one step further. We've also created bundles. Bundle one, two, and three. Each bundle has some awesome stuff in it, and each bundle is going to get you more than 20x entries. In fact, bundle number one, it's only 50 bucks, it's gonna get you 300 entries to the giveaway. Bundle number two is only 115 bucks, and it's gonna get you 700 entries to the giveaway. If you buy bundle number three, which comes with all this awesome product, 
I'm just gonna take and max out all of your entries because every sweepstakes out there has a maximum number of entries that any one individual can get, right? I think it's like 14, 1500 uh, entries on this giveaway. So if you buy that bundle, you're getting maxed out, which would normally cost way more than what the price of the bundle is like significantly more so guys this is a way for you to help us out it's clean it's simple it's uh it's actually great for you guys because it's going to drastically increase uh, your entries which drastically increases you know chances of winning this bronco so thank you for your support and uh click the link in my description below make a purchase and we gotta get to california this isn't made to go on the back of here it's made for 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 beat back on a on an snow cut, yeah. but not this model. Okay. We thought it was for this model, but it didn't fit, so we're gonna make it work. Yeah. So it works. Um, to where we're going, we need to access a lot of stuff in the snow, and we didn't have enough machines that fit everybody in it. So what do we do? We make a machine that fits everybody in it. We take the cab, and we mount it on the back of this piston bully. It didn't really work out the way it was supposed to, so they were making adapters to make it work. Uh, Rob, Iram, and Jair are working on their last minute to get this loaded up. What do you think, Can Sticking two cages on here? Just... No, the night on All right, Steve. Ready, ready to go? I'm ready to go. Yeah. Only 10 more hours to go. Yeah. I, I think it's gonna take more like 12 with everybody. Yeah, and gassing up and all. Gassing up, fueling up. We got the semi truck. We got Dave's truck with the Sisunatsu, like you can see. We got the semi truck, like I said, with the piston bully behind it and everything. Skeeter's driving his Jeep down. Yeah, that's gonna be a little tool rig. Yeah. And we have about two other support trucks going with a bunch of people. So we got a long drive ahead of us. You guys got a rental car. Yeah. Awesome people. We got a nice rental car. Uh, I think I'm driving a Wagoneer. So. Can you watch movies in there? No, but I can watch movies on my phone. No, I can't watch. While you're driving. Uh, I'll have John drive. There we go. <laughs> well, let's get the heck out of here. Let's go. <laughs> so I've been wondering this whole time where we're gonna sleep, and then Caleb showed up with this. Just a shit ton of sleeping bags and stuff. So I hope we don't need these, but I think this is more for just precautions. Like I don't know if we'll be sleeping in these because people need dug out of the snow, so. I hope this doesn't turn into a camping trip. I missed. Hey! <laughs> that wasn't me. House. Huh? Yeah. Hey man, head to toe, it still lines up, just so you know. <laughs> if you forgot your snow gear, you might be able to cut holes out the side and... <laughs> You're gonna be warm. Nuts to come yeah. Thanks for being patient, Hunter! I've been waiting five hours for you people. Get this thing loaded up.
had the Kenworth coming down this really narrow road and there's a hairpin turn before you get to that elementary school where we're trying to stage and the semi truck isn't going to make it. So the big loader and these two skid loaders are carving out this side road so that Dave can pull the Kenworth into here. We can unload the snowcat, get it to work and then get the truck out of here so that people can pass because right now it's jamming up the whole road. But luckily our skidster buddies were here to save the day. So what we're going to do, because they're here to save the day, is we'll put them in first. Dave will pull it as far as he can and if he gets stuck, we'll hook the skidsters up to the truck and we'll pull them even farther until the trailer's clear of the road and traffic can pass freely. First things first, we're up here. Finally got the semi truck in a spot where we can unload the uh, snowcat. And then we'll have to take the tracks off, put the tracks on it. And then we're in business. We can actually move some snow. But until then, we just gotta unload this thing. It's kind of a tight spot. This whole thing's a tight spot. The roads are very narrow. As you can see, there's tons of freaking snow on each side. So hard to move around. No,
Phase one complete. Blades back on, wings are back on. Something missing in this area. Not so much here or there, but right there. Time to put the tracks on. Let's do it. What we're gonna do right now is this first one, yeah. and then from there, we're just gonna cut a path straight to the school because that's where we need to meet with the fire department, get kind of the overall game plan, and the rest of our vehicles can meet us in there as well. And then we'll also talk about lodging and everything like that. So if you get separated from the group, just go to Valley of Enchantment Elementary School. Yep, perfect. Tracked up, loading up, getting everybody down to the uh, school, which is our staging area, and uh, getting out of business now. It's exciting. Got a great crew, got a good objective, got one street all the way pretty much plowed out. Got a snow cat that is just having a heyday on the asphalt. Hey, bud, go tell Hunter. Uh, to hang tight, I'm gonna back drag that for him and, and just make some room. We've been here since uh, last night. We landed at eight o'clock, the rest of the crew got here at like 5 a.m. It's about, we landed here in the actual neighborhood around one, started unloading, and we've been unloading and prepping for two or three hours. But now we're done with that and we can start actually working and start letting the rest of our equipment flow in. We got tons of equipment outside of town waiting to get in here but we haven't sent them in yet because we didn't have our staging area set up so we're close on that now um, now that we have the snow cat which is the biggest uh, item that we needed to get figured out so we've been at it for three hours but really just barely starting to work Lower your bucket as much as you can, that way it won't flip you or anything. We're here. What exactly would be the priority? It would just be it'd be roads. Okay. It'd be roofs. Okay. Because um, we're getting some structure issues yep. with the weight on the roof. Gas meters. Yep. Clearing the gas meters. And then uh, just sh shoveling food. I mean, there's all kinds of like, humanitarian okay. stuff. Cool. There'd be plenty of stuff. So focusing there. house by house, safety. Yeah. Accessibility. So since we got here, and then your equipment showed up, we've actually been fielding calls. The calls have been coming in. Yeah. And then we've been sending guys out from here. Yeah. As like a command post. So you have two teams. Uh, one of your guys would be to the radio, uh, fielding calls, anything urgent pops up, we hop over to that. Yep, exactly. Okay. And what I would like to know is if, if, if we need boots on the ground, I want to be able to open up. You know how people are going to that checkpoints and saying, hey, I'm with Diesel Brothers, let me up. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people down there trying to figure out how to get involved. I can feel all that and, and, and basically handle, you know, if we bring another convoy of, of 20, another, 20 people or so up here, they can join our group and be with us. Okay. Um, I would like to do that. I definitely have to get the rest of my group in here because they're still kind of meandering around the wind. We gotta figure out parking for them. All your equipment's here. There's, uh, there's still quite a few pieces of it on. Yeah, another on the one of these. Yeah. And we have a couple more skid we steers. We have a giant blower uh, that's on its way. We have a few more skid loaders. We have a loader. We have um, another all-terrain vehicle. Um, there's a handful of big snow movers coming in. You have more folks than we actually have overhead for. Right. So what would actually make it better is if we could get a couple more of our task force leaders. Yeah. And then we don't have to have a group of 15 or 20 per se. You can have you can have four groups if we want. Sure. And then they can be they could probably be more successful. Then what we can do is tomorrow morning we can give everyone clear assignments to hey this group you're going to be with this leader he's your he's your contact you know any safety issues all that can go through 
you know, the rep that has the radio. I'm good with that. Yeah, that, that works for me. Going. Yeah. All right, uh, real quick, we've got a plan for tomorrow. Um, the fire department knows they're going to put us in different task force to be able to go out and do some stuff over here. So kind of same thing we're doing, but that's going to happen tomorrow. We got the rest of the day to do whatever we want. I want to use our time the best we can, but at the same time, I don't want to overwork anybody. Who's hungry? You guys ready sure, to eat? We'll get hungry. Okay, so everybody's hungry. getting pretty close to eating. I would rather have the food brought here if everybody else is okay with that. That way, anybody who wants, we can just keep on working this stuff. There's a couple of critical um, houses, elderly lady down the road that needs us to get her out pretty quickly. Um, so we're gonna go to some of the priority houses and just do the same type of thing. And along the way, um, use the loaders and stuff to just kind of make the road better as we go. Does anybody need anything other than food and drinks? Food and drinks. Oh. Is everybody good to keep working for the next few hours if we have food and drinks, or does anybody need to get back up to the house for any reason? Okay, so we're going to keep on, like I said, we don't have a ton of time down here, so let's use it and do as much good as we possibly can. Um, and then we'll, I was planning on working until, until everybody's tired tonight. You head back over to the cabin, 9, 10 o'clock, whatever, um, as long as everybody's good. If anybody is cold, needs gear, let us know. If you guys are good with it, let's finish what we need to do in this street right here. We'll work back out to the main street and then head down. Um, Caleb, uh, you know where the ladies' house is? Yeah, the red one? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I was going to go up and meet on top of the hill. Yep. If you could point out where that, that ladies' house is, that's a that's a priority. That should probably be the next destination. So, I think the whole group can start working down that way. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Thanks, man. You look epic. Like Never you're in been a, movie. a silhouette. Hell on. There you go. It looks like you're in a movie, man. <laughs> <laughs>